Hello everyone and welcome back. We finally got uh, around to playing a little more Axiom Verge together. It's it's actually been a little while. Um, after our first session, I really liked the game and I decided to play a lot of it on my own. And I got very far, but it's been quite a few weeks since then, so I have to remember everything. But no, this is actually a really great game. I will not spoil things as we go through this playthrough here. Um, but I, I'm actually really surprised at how much I enjoyed it. Okay, it's not that bad. Oh, I was... Boston? You might be right before a boss, not sure. Well, no, I went through there. I don't remember what I was doing. So we'll just... Fall forever. Oh yeah, the Pyramid of Bones. How could I have forgotten? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that ends nothing. Yeah. I should have probably come back in and figured out um, what I had been doing. Cause yeah, this... we recorded it. We could have watched the very end of the last one so we knew what we were doing. Yeah, well, um... I think you might have been about to take on a boss back where you loaded from. No, because it's... Um, all those areas on the map are filled in. Oh, okay, yeah, I got it. So you just took them out, probably. Did you just get a thing? I, I think I know. No, okay. I know what I need yeah, you to don't be. Have that thing. And I won't spoil it. It's a really neat item that does something really neat. Okay, I see where am I doing out. Okay. Back on track. Maybe. That will be fine. Yeah. It will be tricky to record later on. Um, cause like, right now it's more or less straightforward. There's actually a couple things that I did on the other game that I have missed. There's so many different hidden things and hidden weapons and all kinds of stuff. Um, but like, as you progress in this game, like, it, it, there's a lot of backtracking and... Well, that's part of the Metroidvania stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's... There weren't very many times that I found it too tedious and having played a little bit more of it, like, not being recorded, like, you won't just see me wandering around aimlessly for two hours trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do, hopefully. Hopefully. Um, so that's better. If you guys hear a slight pattering, it's her fairy scratch himself. Yeah, he's just kind of chilling out in his little playpen nearby. Giving me guilty looks, trying to get me to take him out and play with him. He is such a ham when it comes to that. Uh, we have um, like a little, almost like a cat carry crate in there because he's out in like a playpen. And he'll get up on top of it when he wants to be let out. And if we just leave him there... Oh, okay, that's something I got. If we just leave him there, he'll just kind of collapse down and sag in a very visible way. We have some decent pictures of him we should throw on up. In the video, maybe. What to the upper right there? Because there's little bitches up there. Oh, okay. That's probably it. Alright, the parrot's laying us back, so I'm gonna rough this time. No, no. Oh yeah, glitch bubbles. The glitch mechanic, it's very, very interesting as you progress through the game. Um. Oh, okay, that's why we didn't do that. We can't. Okay, so you need like more of a jump or something. Like that. What was I doing? Cause, oh, there's a spot down there. I know what item I need to get. I just don't remember where it was. Yeah, and I think getting that was around the last thing you did. Ooh, just about that help. I don't think I've ever actually glitched one of those. 
I forget about that a lot, and I forget that doing it can have some really beneficial uh, results. Sparkles. What the heck? Yeah, I've never seen that. Oh yeah, like certain things, if you... If you glitch certain things, they won't do damage to you. Like, it's all kinds of things can happen. Like, it's not any one thing, but some enemies will actually, like, break, um, terrain that can be broken that you wouldn't otherwise see. I'm not sure what... After watching you play this, I'm going to be better when I get back to it. Oh, okay. There weren't enemies here. I would almost swear this is the giant headroom. Um, down there. It's like platforms being suspended by goo. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this wall here we can't break through, and that's another indicator to me that we need a specific item. I think that's the next thing you probably have to get. Oh. Um, yes. Those bastards. Can you them? No, I can't yet. Um, that wasn't so bad. You can go around. It's partially glitched. Yeah. It's, a, it's harder to tell for them, other than that they just move slower, I guess? Makes me want food moves. That can be what those uh, make you think. <laughs> Very fleshy food moves. <laughs> I hate these guys. Yeah. Yeah, I have, this, I have the same feeling when I play. They're not that bad, but they're... Um, they can be. Yeah. I always feel like I overreact and touch to them. Wait, I just went in a circle. Yeah. Oh. Um... We want to pause things and come back when we know what we're doing. Yeah. Well, when we get back on track, like we'll cut back. Welcome back, everyone. We think we know where we're going. At least we, we have rooms that we haven't explored yet, so that's, you know, on the right track. Ooh. Oh, I remember those little, like, liver spines. Uh, I don't remember if they were more or less of an issue. Okay, they do that. Um, what, if they become more harmful when you do that? Yeah, because some things will actually become worse. Like, some things become fully indestructible. Oh, I think I kind of remember that. Um, okay, there's... Oh, there's a secret thing. Oh! I... Can I... Uh... You couldn't drill down from the last angle pit, right? Uh, I'll have to go in there and check it out. Oh, brain mushies. Trees? Who knows? The item I think you're trying to get, it's so weird to see, to not have it. Just because it affects your character's abilities. There's a ton of stuff in this, so you might be... There's a few things that affect the appearance, like the little weird... Full health thing? Yeah. <laughs> I, I was not expecting that. Neither was I. That's one of my favorite weird little touches to this game. Well, I guess that works. Come on, you glitchy thing. Uh, I guess there's just nothing going on in there. I forget, do you get like a regular old high jump in this? Um... Can't see it all the time. The oh, like the green stuff. Who knows? It reminds me of 
the nightmare in Metroid Fusion. I've been seen here. I thought so. No, the nightmare in Fusion, as you fight it, the mask on its face comes off and its face like melts while you damage it. It's pretty messed up. Yes. Though that's a really cool, if slightly annoying. These guys, they don't, they don't hit you very easy, but if I remember correctly, they actually deal a lot of damage. The little floaty snugs. Well, that kind of makes sense, because they're, they're not that difficult to deal with. I'm going to leave those alone for now. <laughs> what, the devil trees? Can you even get through? Okay. I don't know, I'm just checking everything out. I forgot a great deal about where things are. Because this is, as I was saying, like, I got pretty close to the end of this game, and there is so much backtracking that I ended up doing, and I don't know if I necessarily needed to do all of it, but things become distinctly less clear. Um, and this game just gets weird, but in a really cool way. That's part of why I love it. What is that over there? I don't know, there's one on the right too. Oh, that's probably just... Some... There is stuff like that. Mm. Nice. Can you Probably. It's like... Oh, that's right, these guys can damage things too. That makes us Oh, yeah, I forget that they can do that. That's uh, pretty decent. Oh, yeah. Health, right? I don't remember. Problem. Oh, nope, I'm wrong. That's still helpful. Yeah. Oh, this fucking place. This is a completely new area. Hmm. Okay. Um. Eh, I was gonna say, should we be here? But whatever. Maybe we'll see. You don't know. The game let us be here, so let's have fun with it. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Did not expect those. What is that? Oh, those guys. Oh, okay. Uh, they shoot. Normally they shoot like three, but if you disrupt them, they get a little bit slower mm -hmm. and they're a little easier to deal with. Uh, no. No. The sound in this is so good. It's so great. What button? Yes. Oh, there's there's so many weapons in this game. Really neat ones, and some of them are just entirely optional. Um, I can't wait to show all of you guys, because there's a few that I don't have, actually, that became my favorites. Um, and they just do all kinds of stupid things. Crazy things. I know, when you got further in the game than I was at, I was amazed that you kept finding weapons. Okay. So this is a point of no return right here. When you fall down there, you actually can't get back up for quite a while. Um, so yeah, there's a good indicator that this is where we're supposed to be. Uh, I know what item I'm supposed to be getting. But this is where, not right here, but pretty soon is where it starts to get a little bit harder to figure oh, out. This is perfect. Uh, it gets a little bit hard to figure out where you're going. All right, so hold up for a sec. We're gonna call this episode. Okay. You hit a save point, and it's, yeah, around, yeah. it's so that makes it a lot easier. It's you get so caught up in playing that you don't even realize that you're recording, which is good. It's fun. Um, all right, we will continue our exploration in the next episode. We'll see you guys then.